Welcome to my kitchen. Pasta queen here, pasta bro. For anybody who doesn't know still, this is my brother, Agostino. Today, we are making... Bruschetta. So it's not bruschetta. Bruschetta. It's bruschetta. S-K. Double T at the end. So, what is a bruschetta? A bruschetta is simply a piece of bread with a lot of different stuff on it. It's usually grilled or toasted. Let us show you the classic Italian bruschetta. Eh. E poi dobbiamo fare quello. Ingredients. We've got a loaf of bread. I like to use it a couple of days old so that it's a little bit harder and it holds the sauce a little better and I'll show you later. So stay on, I'm gonna show you how it works. Then we got some tomatoes. I want them nice and ripe and we're gonna be chopping them. Then we've got some really nice garlic. You're gonna need one clove for two bruschettas. We got some nice sea salt, which is very good. And some extra virgin olive oil. Uh, where's Patrizio? There you go. Look at this, we got Patrizio, our basil plant. His name is Patrizio. I think in English you say Patrick, just because he's green and But he know, doesn't like it. He doesn't like to be called Patrick. He doesn't like to be called Patrick because he wants to be Italian. So yeah. we named it Patrizio. He's gonna be the final cherry on the cake for our bruschetta. It's not really a cake. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> It's a bruschetta cake. It's a bruschetta <laughs> cake. So we just chopped some tomatoes thanks to Ago. You know, he does some stuff sometimes, you know. No. Anyways, <laughs> let's just get going, guys. We're adding chopped red tomatoes. Then I am adding a lot of extra virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. For this one, I am using an extra virgin olive oil that is extremely flavors from the south of Italy. The reason being is it's not gonna be cooked. So we want to taste the full glory of the extra virgin olive oil on that bread, okay? I'm adding a pinch of salt to this and we're going to mix it. What I'm trying to do here is a little sauce that's gonna be refrigerated. Now the reason why I add all these ingredients beforehand is because if you leave them in the fridge all together, marinating for at least 20 minutes is going to create the perfect sauce for that bread. Now the last final touch before it goes in the fridge is take a little bit of Patrizio's hair and break it with your hands. I like to break it with my hands because it releases different flavors than when cut. It just, the perfume, the smell, the aroma is incredible. So you just mix it all in. By bringing these ingredients all together, I want to create the perfect combination of greatness, just like you are. Stop putting crunch garlic everywhere. No, it's fine. We oh my God. Ooh. It just goes around with like garlic cloves. He keeps them, he stashes them in his but, pockets but, and everything. Why yeah. do you want to remove the garlic smell Ooh. out of your hands? <laughs> but if you really want to use lemon. Voglia. Ma come cazzo si chiude qua? <laughs> Nacho al vaglio, no. ho capito, ma dove cazzo è il coso per chiuderlo? We're going to cover and refrigerate for at least 20 minutes. So we're using a bread. Mm. Now we like to buy the bread and keep it a couple of days in the pantry. Why? Because for this recipe, there's gonna be a lot of olive oil and juices from the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and you don't want the bread to get too soggy. So you want it a little bit more firm. Then we toast it, so let's cut it. So guys, the whole concept here is to toast the bread. Doesn't matter, you can use a toaster, you can use a mm -hmm. pan, you can use one of the grills. There's a grill up there, but you don't know, obviously. <laughs> That's the place of the forbidden pants. When you put stuff up there, it just goes missing. Yep. We're using a cast iron skillet. I like the toasting to be a little bit more even than just, you know, grilled. And I just feel the whole bread get a little bit more solid. 
and it's important with this recipe because the bruschetta sauce with the tomatoes will sink in and it might break the bread if you don't toast it correctly. So it's very important. Okay, we're gonna toast first one side, and then the other side. Little history behind this uh, recipe, which is actually an antipasto, a starter, a little snack in the middle of the day, it's just so beautiful. The word bruschetta comes from bruscare, it's a Latin word. So we're talking about ancient Roman times. Back in the Roman times, we already had dozens of bakeries baking bread all over Rome. So it's like an ancient tradition to get the bread and toast it slightly. Now through the years, obviously, you've had people adding things to it, olive oil to taste. They were so excited, they would toast a little piece of bread and then put a little olive oil on it. So simple, just to really see what the olive oil rendition was. I'm turning this now. It's smoking. It's a sign of appreciation. The pan has done its job. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you see, the, I like the toasting. It's even all over. There's no little lines like the grill. I want the bread to seal so that when it absorbs, it doesn't sog, doesn't go soggy, right? Did I finish my story? I got sidetracked. You keep disturbing me and I can't think. Nah. If I wouldn't And it's morning, <laughs> and I can't think. I haven't had at least five shots of espresso, so I'm, sometimes I get, you know. But if I wouldn't interrupt you, the bread wouldn't be on fire. <laughs> C'ha ragione, <laughs> he's right. <laughs> Through the years, people have evolved different bruschettas. You can put pretty much anything. Um, if you check my TikTok channel, I posted a beautiful recipe for pesto rosso. And what you can do with that pesto sauce, you can use it right like this. You can take the toasted bread, just like we did right now, and you can do a, use it as a spread. And it's just amazing. Try it. Look, it looks like it's been framed for perfection. Let's get the garlic clove and rub it like there's no tomorrow. You want it everywhere. Now remember, guys, if you're using raw garlic, it is spicy, just like you are. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be covering them like crazy, okay? Like, I go just, what kind of garlic is it? What? Like, you chop the garlic for no reason. What? The garlic clove doesn't need to be chopped. Now, when you are satisfied with the usage of the garlic clove and you feel that there's enough to create a new sensation in your life, we go to the next step, which is we get this amazing juicy sauce that has been created and marinated and we add it like that, you see? So we put it all over and you wanna juice it up. There you go. Mm. Don't be shy. Add as much as you like. Use those fresh basil leaves as well. It's so healthy. If you want a little bit more juice, you can. Look. Perfect. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. Ooh, I'm, yes, I'm baby. Mm. Let's add a little extra salt. Mmm, mm. yes. Now we taste it. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Mm. Guys, it's beautiful. Thank you very much for following. Mm. Don't forget to go on TikTok and check our TikTok channels, The Pasta Queen and Pasta Bro. We make amazing classic Italian recipes. Mm. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you very soon. Love you. Mm. Oh my God. So good.